How much of a vibe are these sunglasses? Like? Oh shit, my sausage rolls in the way. Put on a little bit of makeup. You are way more disciplined than this. I'll be all right, I'm just being a big cry baby. In the shed, look like I'm gonna crack down. You are so bloody cute, aren't you? If I could get in the bloody bread. I better make a cup of tea, guys. You know it solves everything, doesn't it? Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel or if you're new here then welcome. I hope you're all good. So weekly vlog, well it's currently Wednesday but I've not been doing anything earlier on in the week so I thought it was a bit boring if I picked up my camera but it is post lockdown pamper week. I am so excited. Well I've already had my hair done once as you know but this week is like my full blown week of getting things done. But yeah, I thought the main focus of this vlog could be me getting my lashes, my hair, my nails, my brows done but then I just thought I'd pick up the camera in between but yeah today is my first day of appointments. It's currently 10 30 I need to start off in about five minutes so I've just been getting ready but I haven't put anything on my lashes because my first stop I am getting a lash lift done. So that's my first stop at 11 which is like 20 minutes away from me and then literally down the road at 12 o'clock from the salon I'm going to to get my lashes done. I'll be back with Abby going for stage two of getting my hair back to being blonde which I'm so buzzing for because I feel like stage two is like the real start of the process you know we've been here before i know it's a process only last time i was black going to blonde and now i'm more of like a dark brown going to blonde so it's not too bad but i mean i'm just trying to get ready honestly my studio is a mess because my mum is going back home to cardiff on saturday so she's just getting all of her stuff together i'm really sad that she's going she's been working from here in lockdown and has been with us now for like eight months so it's going to be really strange without her i have literally just this second had my mango delivery i ordered a new bag and a pair of sunglasses it's literally like 10 days ago and it's only just arrived let me show you the bag i'm trying to work out if i like it or not i think i might wear it today if i think i like it so i really needed like a creamy stone bag because i always wear my black under the stories one please just look at this room i always wear my black under the stories one as you know and i haven't got a cream on and i really like this because it has quite a chunky strap and it's also like a kind of bubbly kind of bag you know like a quilted bag which I think is really nice but yeah I'm just trying to work out if I like it I think it's just because I'm so used to wearing my black one but I do think I really like it and it's nice for the summer this color isn't it the other thing I picked up from mango was these sunglasses that I've seen so many people wear but it's not sunny today so there's no point me even putting them on but they're so so nice let me show you them on quickly sorry but how much of a vibe are these sunglasses like I feel like they look really daft in the daylight but you can't really see otherwise um but yeah just feel like they're really cool and different and obviously all my other sunglasses are like black or metal so I just thought this like camely nude colour was really nice. Yeah it's literally like raining today so I had like four days of sun invested in a load of sunnies in Primark as you know also ordered these ones from Mango and now it's pissing it down again which is just my luck. Here's my tape extensions that I took out ages ago they are Remy Cachet but I think I might have a couple of them added back into like the front of my hair today but they're gonna need lightening because obviously my hair is this colour now. So I've given them a wash I'm gonna take them and see what Abby thinks but yeah you'll be able to see that obviously if we decide to go for it. Anyway I need to set off now for my lash lift and then I'll update you after that and then i'll be going to get my hair done guys i'm out of salon number one. Oh my god the salon was so 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 cute look how good they are i feel like this is the wrong lighting but look how nice they are like they're literally it's like i've got mascara on it's like the best thing ever yeah, the salon was like so so nice i'll put a clip in here i didn't vlog much in there because you know it's the first time that i've met her and i just didn't want to make her feel uncomfortable why i was like with abby i'll just like whack out my camera whenever it was like pure boho vibes like neutrals really chilled really calming honestly i felt like i was gonna fall asleep but yeah, I'm going to head to Abby's salon now and I will show you what we get up to with my hair and hopefully next time I talk to you I will be looking a little bit more blonder at least.
guys, I think it's safe to say I am well on my way to being a blondie again. Look at how light it has gone this time. I'm literally buzzing. We did decide to put the tapes in, which you would have seen Abby do, but I'll show you in more detail when I get home what it looks like. But I'm just absolutely buzzing with it. It's so, so blonde now. I think one more go. So booked in for the 23rd of June, which is eight weeks away, which is how often I will do my hair. I think 23rd of June, I'll be pretty much how I want to be do you know what I mean but um I'm gonna head off home now because I'm absolutely starving I've not eaten have I eaten all day oh yeah I've um had a bagel this morning but other than that I haven't eaten so but yeah I'm gonna head home now sorry music was very loud oh shit my sausage rolls in the way buzzing I'm just gonna make a brew and then chill out you know honestly on the way home from the hairdressers i was actually craving this moment but tonight i'm thinking of making a spag bob because it's james's favorite i think he's had a bit of a hard climb in work today i think like the tree he had to go up was literally like way bigger than he expected what day is it tomorrow it's thursday tomorrow i'm in work tomorrow afternoon and evening so tomorrow morning i need to go to primark like early doors because i need to take some things back um i need to swap a couple of sizes i don't want to return anything which is sad because i spent so much money and i'm not getting any of that money back oh my god you know what i just realized i haven't even mentioned in a vlog so you would have seen on my instagram stories but i got my um third holes pierced in claire's the other day i know claire's accessories blast from the past but i thought where else am i gonna go to get my ears pierced because i didn't want to go to a tattoo studio because i know those guys are so overwhelmed at the moment and trying to get everybody put back in i don't just want to go in and bug them with like a little piercing do you know what i mean I'm trying to find somewhere that just does piercings and i was like oh my god claire's are they even still a thing and the one night closest to me has now closed down but there was one like 20 minutes down the road so i'm like okay I gave them a call last friday asked them if you needed a book for a piercing to which she said no you literally just walk in so I was like fabulous and then the girl said oh how old is she like who's it for and I was like oh it's for myself and don't worry I'm 27 like I'm not underage but yeah I've had oh Christ that's all you know they're actually a little bit sore I didn't think they would be because my body heals so quickly so yeah I've had my so I've had those two done for a while and these hoops that I wear I literally never take out and then I really wanted to get hoops but I'm actually allergic to quite a lot of metals you know and she didn't have the hoops available in like the piercing kind of metal like the surgical steel or whatever it's called but yeah they are literally so so cute like these little third holes that I've got I actually quite like the studs so you know so we will see I'll see how we got on with them so funny ever since because so many of you have been tagging me on your stories like in Claire's accessories getting like your third holes done or your Traegers done and like I think I've just like triggered this little movement where we're all gonna randomly go Go to Claire's for a piercing. Anyway, as much as I would love to sit here and chat to you all day, I mean, I'm not even going to make out that it's got something to do. I just want another cup of tea. But I am actually going to go and make a start on the spag bowl. I love my hair so much. Hello. Hello. Hello.
happy Thursday. I hope everyone's feeling okay today. It's literally five to seven in the morning, so can we just allow the fact that I look absolutely awful? But honestly, if you aren't onto that Pixie Overnight Glow Serum, trust me, you need it. Like, look fantastic, sell it go and get yourself some it is life changing for that glow on your skin james has not long left for work i'm just drinking a brew of course how cute is this mug by the way it says dog mum it says it on both sides which i always like my friend leah got it me for my birthday how cute so today's plan it's technically for me lower body day um i've worked out i've done two lower bodies one upper bodies and one full body like blast this week already so i'm not doing too bad but i've got a bit of a bad lower back i'm not gonna lie i'm not stressed about it guys i've had lower back um issues for a very long time i've been a very sporty person all my life and i've always suffered with my lower back because i was born with an issue with my lower back called spina bifida occulta spina bifida is where the lower back is basically twisted the spine in the wrong direction when you're a baby a lot of the time it can correct itself i had spina bifida occulta which is like a minor form of it so it was always a little bit weak then when i was 15 just before my 16th birthday just before my gcse's i slipped one of the discs in my lower spine it was honestly one of the worst things i've ever been through i do not recommend it every now and then it will just get a little bit stiff to be fair it's never really sore which i'm really thankful for because it's horrible when it is but it just gets really really tight it's never exercise that brings it on it's things like i was sat in the hairdressers for a long period of time yesterday not like moving or if i sit at my desk all day and work and i don't get up and move it gets really really bad i think i'm gonna scrap the lower body workout today and just give give my back a massive lower back stretch um the good thing about the tone and sculpt app by the way which you all know i use which is chrissy challa's app for my workouts is that as well as like millions of workouts on the app there's a load of stretches active recovery but yeah i'm gonna just scrap the workout just because my back's feeling a bit too tight like for me because i've been dealing with it for so many years i know when it's time to just be like right okay no workout today do you know what i mean you've got to look after your body guys so uh back stretch is done honestly just feels so good stretching out your lower back when it's stiff Honestly, this room is a mess. There are all my brushes that I washed yesterday. I'm just going to sort through the Primark bags and work out what it is that I need to take back. These are the jeans. They literally are just the most perfect jeans ever. But they're a size 6 and they're slightly too snug. So I'm just literally desperately hoping that they're going to have a size 8. Honestly, you need to see these on me in my Primark haul. If you haven't watched it already, they are just an absolute dream. Like for Primark jeans, they're literally a 10 out of 10. Like I don't even like my ASOS jeans more than these, which are my fave in my wardrobe at the moment. A lot less worse for wear than I was before. I got a quick shower after I did my stretches put on a little bit of makeup isn't it mad that i've got no mascara on my lashes isn't that crazy and then tomorrow when i get my brow lamination i won't even have to do my brows either it's going to be so quick getting ready like all i've done is just brush my hair out a little bit more with a brush and literally the curls have held so well let me do um a quick outfit of the day we're about to set off the primark but i've just put on a little cute outfit that i need to shoot for misguided so i thought i'd show it you so i've got this little ribbed tight fitting collared top it's really really Really, really thick it's got the double zip at the front so you could pull this bit up if you want to and it just says misguided sports club est 2009 how nice is that i thought this looked really nice with these jeans now these jeans okay this is my issue with jeans these are a size 8 and they are even though they're a bit more low rise than what i would normally wear they are definitely too big like i've managed to get away with it by where i am wearing them but literally i could have done with a six most definitely but i'm just not that kind of girl that will send things back and exchange do you know what I mean? These jeans are lush by the way, but on the model they're extremely baggy. So I just feel like they're meant to be like a low rise, low kind of crotch, even though it feels a bit weird. And then they're supposed to puddle at the bottom. They're like a proper 90s style jean, if you know what I mean. I'm going to pop on my new mango bag, which is funny because yesterday I wasn't even sure if I liked it, was I? And then today I'm just like, yeah, I love it. After one day of wearing it, I've become like obsessed with it.
literally so gassed to be out of the car right i was just saying on my instagram stories some of you may have seen it already i am so travel sick when i'm a passenger here he is my lovely boy did you miss me did you miss me come on come here come here come here come here come here oh my god calm down oh my god oh my god you're so out of breath you just need to calm down my darling that's a good boy you're so little that is your perfect size chair wow oh bye i picked up a couple of other bits let me go and find my bag and show you hi baby boy what have you got what have you got one of your key rings oh that's nice oh bit of fleetwood mac on the radio alexa turn up to oh am i gonna oh, i'm gonna get copyrighted alexa turn off song and i can't even bloody play it um got a size six in the short so swap the size four for a six even though the size four was technically a 10 because i think they just put the wrong label on so hopefully that okay also popped in to tk max um i'll just quickly show you what i got in there i really wanted some new sports bras new balance the best sports bras for big boobs so i got this one which was like 12.99 i just got a size small in my new balance they're really really supportive and then this one i don't even know what brand it is but it was just in the size small section but it's just like a plain white it's got a little bit of rib detail seamless sports bra it's got no branding on it lastly i picked up these under armor shorts which are a size extra small because they didn't have a small so pray for me girls they're literally just plain black with the under armor logo on but those with that white sports bra on an upper body day it's gonna look bloody fabulous um but yeah we are dying for a cup of tea and also a bagel so that's what i'm gonna do now Good morning beautiful people happy Friday I am sorry it like got cut short yesterday by the time I got home put all of the stuff away that I'd bought put some clothes away did a little bit of housework I needed to get ready for work so I went to work at three and I finished at nine so I didn't get home till late either ate my dinner went to bed nothing interesting nothing exciting to vlog actually about to do a workout and I popped on one of the new balance bras that I bought yesterday it is such a nice fit I mean it's a little bit tight but all sports bras are at first and obviously I've got such big boobs that I really need the support anyway my back is feeling loads better today it's not 100% um it's still a bit tight it's still a bit sore it's weird it's like when I put my neck down it like pulls the bottom of my back so I've decided I am going to attempt it's lower body day for me today so I am going to attempt my workout but today it is eyebrow and nails day which I'm so excited about eyebrows are at 11 15 back at Abbey's salon and my nails I think are at four o'clock so I've got a nice gap between my day just to get shit done you know anyway I was throwing loads of excuses around my head this morning as to why I shouldn't work out, backache, can't be bothered, in a rush, need to put my appointment on time and I just thought you know what girl you are way more disciplined than this and your body deserves to move so just get up do it and fit your day in around that.
got a massive brew. I have literally been craving one. James and Josh are both in work, of course. And then my mum, who has been working here for like the last eight months, normally works from home. So it's normally me and her. So there's normally, you know, a bit of conversation, somebody to talk to. But because she's going back tomorrow, she's gone out with her friend for the day. So it's literally just quiet. I'm going to have to get used to this all over again when I'm here on my own in the week. Went to get my brows done, as you saw. Honestly, Jess is the best at eyebrows. Like, I cannot go to anyone else because she is just incredible. Obviously, I've got no makeup on, so looking a bit worse for wear. I had a load of random deliveries by the looks of it um, whilst I was out, so I'm just going to have a quick look at those, show you what's arrived. And then I'm just going to chill for a bit, really. Get some random stuff done around the house before my appointment for my nails at 4 o'clock, which I'm so excited for. So, Hannah, who does my nails, she, like, before COVID, and everything got my nails in the most amazing condition in lockdown i bought like a gel lamp some colors and i'm just not as good as her you know like obviously she's a professional and not only that i'm obviously not very good at the whole prepping and taking off of the gel because my nails had gone like a little bit weak so i'm so glad that they are back in her capable hands but look how much they've grown last time i was in she put something called a builder gel on under like the gel color and honestly they're so so strong and they've grown so much so i'm hoping this time we can have a bit more of a shape to them you know pretty little thing already started opening some bits i have wanted a navy oversized sweater for the longest time because i just have every other color going a couple of tops in the style that i like a shirt how nice does that look it's like this sand crinkly kind of shirt plain black leggings and then i was really excited by oh my god i got some jeans too so yeah still on the hunt for like the perfect fitting pair of jeans but oh my god this blazer i thought it looked so expensive right it's like this dark charcoal gray but it's got like a little bit of a fleck in it an oversized dad blazer i got a size 10 but it's also got shoulder pads in it like i'll have to show you what it's like when it's on this is from a small business called spellbound silk the packaging is just to die for it's so so cute you get the eye mask and then it does come with a little scrunchie as well and then you also get the pillowcase which i'm so excited to put on in my new room which is nearly finished I got this little box from, is it Cordelie? I've used their stuff loads of times, but I don't really know how you pronounce it. I think it's Cordelie and look fantastic. And it's their new range, which is the Vino Perfect Radiant Serum range. And oh my God, it looks so, so, so nice. I am actually expecting a parcel from Look Fantastic any minute now. So if that arrives, I'll show you what I bought this week too from there. Speaking of Look Fantastic, I have got an unreal code for the bank holiday. More discount than my usual code, but what I'm gonna do is like mention it at the end of the the vlog so it like sticks in your head do you know what i mean so you don't have to like go back and watch the vlog to remember it also how cute is this so this little thing here used to have my makeup brushes in but now that i no longer see makeup clients i have condensed my kit massively just to like more of a personal use so i've decided because i'm always in here when i'm doing like my final touches before i go out or before i go and shoot or when i'm getting ready decided to put all of my sunglasses in here which i think looks really cute because i can see all the ones that i've got from tk maxx by the way no it's not it's from home sense it's really really nice it was amazing for makeup brushes when i had them in there guys i'm just getting to my nail appointment now oh my god i forgot it was bank holiday weekend the sun is shining and literally everybody comes to north wales when it's a weekend like this so i literally forgot how bad the traffic was gonna be anyway i've just got to costa because there's literally a costa around the corner from where i get my nails done and hannah never gives herself a break right the girl that does my nails i go mad at her she literally works back to back doesn't eat doesn't drink so whenever i get there i always take her her fave a mango and passion fruit cooler so i've just ordered one through the app before i left my house for us both so i'm gonna pick that up and then head to my nail appointment Are they not the nicest nails you have ever seen in your life? Guys, it's literally 20 to 11. Way past my bedtime. I've got salt and pepper seasoning all around my mouth because I have just had the nicest 
salt and pepper chicken pizza it was unreal we ordered loads of pizzas from um this local pizza place and we selected cash on delivery on the app and the guy the guy who dropped the pizzas off the delivery guy didn't realize that we'd selected cash on delivery so when my brother came back in with the food i was like have you paid him because he still had the cash in his hand we actually shouted him back so we could pay him because we thought he's gonna get his hell off if he goes back and whoever it is that owns it realizes that he hasn't actually charged us anything for the food those pizzas were so so nice like so 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 nice also before when i was keeping myself busy when james went to the hairdressers and i was waiting for the food to come changed all of my like individual spices that were just in their original pots in the cupboard into like these little gold top glass spice jars that i bought in wilco's i've got a little label printer thing so i just labeled them all up swapped them all over and it actually looks so so cute but but my brother's gonna cut a block of wood to fit like the second row of jars on so those ones are ever so slightly propped up just so it's easier to get to them and see what we've got that was the last supper with our mother and obviously she goes back home to cardiff tomorrow I think i'm gonna be a little bit emotional guys not gonna lie james is just downstairs making me a cup of tea bless him i've just heard him put the kettle on he always makes me my bedtime brew i don't even have to ask he'll just put the kettle on when it's bedtime make me a cup of tea so cute but yeah just gonna go and take what's left of my makeup off have my cup of tea brush my teeth and then go to bed so I will see you all in the morning. Oh my god, my nails. They're just so, so nice. Oh my god, can't cope. You are bloody perfect. Both of me. Are they both for you, are they? <laughs> Thank you, baby. Okay, hello. Good morning. Just got out of the shower. Ignore curly bits of hair. State of my face. And I'm about to film a little get ready with me on Instagram stories with Look Fantastic. The reason why I thought I would mention it on here is because I have got an upgraded code for Look Fantastic. You all know my original code. It's never ending. So instead of my usual Asha LF, it's going to be Asha BH for Bank Holiday, which will get you 35% off instead of the usual. Is it 20% normally? I think. How good is that um but also my look fantastic order arrived yesterday afternoon and i'm going to show you what i got because you can get 35 percent off all of these things also all of my usual favorites which are in all of my other videos i won't bore you with that today but yeah i'm actually doing the content over on instagram but i just thought i'd mention it here because i know so many of you on youtube use my look fantastic code so definitely stock up on all of your faves whilst i've got the bank holiday offer but this is what i picked up this weekend with the bank holiday discount these are all replenishments all restocks oh my god my nails match all restock stuff that i've used before so if you don't know about the l'oreal Suri, i think you say it Suri expert funny because i've used this one before this is the one that my hairdresser has always used on me so this is silver shampoo but it says it's for gray and white hair neutralizing for gray and white hair but i guess last time i was blonde my hair was practically white this one is for cool blonde hair so i'm going to use this one for now then after my next stage of growing blonde which will hopefully be as blonde as maybe i was last time i will start using this one so those two shampoos they do the conditioners as well but i actually really like my hair burst conditioner so pixie glow tonic needs no introduction from me you guys know how much i love this i've got the massive pump bottle so i just buy the 50 ml bottles just to stock up in that big bottle when it's running low so i literally just replenish that from the cerave foaming cleanser and this cerave moisturizer goes hand in hand with that this is just their general facial moisturizing lotion and it is amazing for daytime wear under makeup the product that needs no introduction from me clinique moisture surge it's just the best they have my fave little MAC duos, the Lady Be Good Liquid Lipstick and then the Whirl Lip Liner. This, this product is another product I've previously used. This is the Illa Masca Gel Blusher. These are like little cream eyeshadow sticks. They always come in this little tin with the little sharpener because obviously the stick is a funny shape. You get the little sharpener with it. It's so cool. But yeah, I'm going to go and do my little get ready with me for Look Fantastic on my Instagram stories and then I'll be back. And These pyjamas, by the way, I thought I might get loads of questions about them so I thought I would just mention it. They're from a company called ha designs on instagram and they personalize everything so obviously mine says asher but you could get initials and these are like the cotton ones but they do do silk ones as well also the slippers are from there but these are so handy just to slip on and they've got my initials on as well how cute are these little sets okay i'm dressed i'm back i just put my hair in like a little half up half down thing but i'm gonna show you my outfit i don't know if it's too warm for it but i'm always cold and obviously we have to eat outside so i'm hoping it's gonna be okay guys these jeans from from PL 
LT. They were new in. I just think they're going to be a huge vibe. They've got these thigh splits, right? And they're like a baggy 90s jean, which I know isn't everybody's vibe, but with the crop top, I think it would look nicer. But obviously, it's just a bit too cold for that. But I really, really like the style of them and I really like the side splits. That mess in the back. Oh my God, we'll think about that when I get back. But I've got this like printed long sleeve t shirt on, which is just white to go with the Air Forces, also PLT, and then my bomber jacket PLT as well. So wearing a full pretty little thing outfit. Also, just before I go out, I've just taken my hair burst hair gummies and whilst we're on the subject of codes, I just wanted to let you know that my hair burst code has gone live again. It's AML20. I've got that live again and also my look fantastic code for the bank holiday weekend, which is Asher BH for 35% off. What are you grunting at my little mister? We're gonna have to go in the car in a minute, okay? So we'll have to go in the car, so that means you've got to be a good boy and we'll have to get your lead. And what else do you know? Um, you definitely know the car and your lead and going out. You are the best boy on this planet. Should we go get some brunch? <laughs> sobbing like an absolute child because my mum's just left sorry my washing machine's on in the utility room you might hear it honestly living like five hours apart from my mother is like really hard for me because we're so so close so i'm really grateful and really appreciative that i've been able to have like all of this time with her because we haven't spent this much time together in years and it's been so nice but it does just make me feel a bit anxious about the world like returning to normal and everything going back to normal it's just so strange isn't it she's had to go back because i mean obviously cardiff is at home and she's happy there um but her offices are opening again so she's been working from home but now she has to go back into work so it's gonna happen isn't it like we've all been begging for the world to go back to normal i think it's just gonna take some getting used to again for me because it's been so nice having her here and just <laughs> waking up and her being here coming home her being here i'll be all right i'm just being a big cry baby honestly that's the one thing guys about cream products don't cry when you're wearing a cream face i'm gonna keep myself busy this afternoon um i've got some painting to do which i'll show you in a second and then pump is absolutely knackered after we've been out for brunch and went to see my grandparents i better make a cup of tea guys you know it solves everything doesn't it whacking on the kettle show you ignore the decking that's literally all rotten and it's all getting ripped up anyway this side table it's like um console table size it used to be in my grandparents house and we kept a load of furniture from nana and bumper's house my grandparents the color of it this is the second coat by the way i'm gonna give it one more coat and then it'll be done but the color of it used to be like this really warm walnut color it was so nice but obviously just not modern anymore these are the drawers and they did have um old handles on it but we filled them in sanded them and then obviously started painting so we've gone for this lovely stone color which really goes with the dining room it is a french chic paint and it's from their lazy range so it doesn't need any primer and it doesn't need any sealant or a top coat or anything. and this is in shade stone rosy which really really goes with the dining room colors which i'll go and show you now so here's the dining room there's the patio doors into the garden ignore that rug that's just temporarily there for Pumper to lie on next to the radiator this wall here has obviously got the panelling on the radiator and the television and then these walls here are this stony colour which I think the sideboard will look really nice because it's like an in-between colour of the floor and the walls also another thing that's come from my Nan and Bumper's house is this um huge like as you can see it's nearly the length of the wall and this room is quite big it's like a scroll print from Egypt they travelled so much my grandparents and they always went to Egypt and they always brought things back and they got this painting made there is a story behind it but i can't remember what the story is anyway the little egyptian right in here and here says terry and eileen which is what their names were so i'm going to paint the back of it the same color like the stony color as the walls and then that is going to go up on the wall there the sideboard will be here and then we're going to get a nice big dining table from ikea to go here so the third coat is done i am literally got paint on my nails hannah if you're watching this i'm so sorry it's water based it'll come off straight away i'm just gonna get like one big draw knob to go on each one and they sell some really cool funky ones in tk maxx so hopefully i've got to go and take something back to tk maxx tomorrow i will see some that i like but yeah i am really happy with how that's turned out oh my god i'm in the shed look like i'm in a crackdown oh my god 
<laughs> I forgot about my makeup. Guys, I'm gonna have to go and take this makeup off. Um, let me just put this paint back, honestly. The shed is like an actual warehouse. It's actually bonkers. Guys, I'm actually out of breath from running up the stairs. <sighs> so embarrassing. Um, is it acceptable to go and collect a Pizza Hut takeaway in your slippers? Because I'm about to go and I don't know if it's gonna be a bit frowned. Basically, James is still out with his friends. I think they've gone to McDonald's. So me and Josh have ordered desserts from Pizza Hut. Well, I've ordered some chicken bites because I've not even had my dinner yet. But we've also ordered some cookie dough, cheesecake and a white chocolate cookie dough which i'm so excited for so i'm gonna go and pick it up but look at the state of me i'm actually covered in paint as well got the goods got the boxes got the ice cream um i'm gonna head home now and we'll probably eat this then james will be home and then i'll probably go to bed so i might as well stop vlogging here for the day because otherwise it will be absolutely boring so i'll catch up with you all in the morning good morning oh that's nice good morning everyone happy sunday i am fresh out of the shower um i just thought i'd get in the shower straight away i think it's like eight o'clock now um but when i woke up i just jumped straight in let me just get my retainer out and talking honey so yeah as i was saying um i've just got out of the shower i used that l'oreal shampoo for the first time this is the first time that i've washed my hair since getting it done again on wednesday but the plan this morning is to blow dry my hair of course can't go out with a towel on my head and then i am going to put gel on my toes because they need doing and then get dressed and head to aldi for the food shop when it opens at 10. there's a film that's just come out on amazon prime that we're gonna watch tonight so we're literally just gonna have like a snack night a film night so yeah not really doing much today but i just need to get ready oh my god i look so pale in this light but my skin to be fair is doing so much better recently than what it has been but yeah just one of those days get ready gonna put gel polish on my toes anyone else can't stand their bare toes or is it just me now that i've literally got rid of all the clothes bags that were just lying around i picked up some drawer knobs and tk maxx i had quite a lot so i didn't know which ones to choose but i'll show you the ones that i got these are the ones that i picked up so they come in a pack of four they either come in a pack of four or a pack of six or a pack of eight i noticed I had loads of little wacky ones like loads of different colors but i just thought if i go with these because gold is like a running theme like slightly throughout the house anyway like there's little bits of gold in the globe and in the egyptian papyrus and then I really like the glass as well because I feel like no matter where this goes or what we do with it in the future, that will always go with at least something. My OG followers will know what these are in here. So this is um, a little collection of feathers that I have. So whenever a white feather crosses my path, I always bottle them up because I like to think it's my nan or my granddad visiting me. I thought how fitting considering this um, side table used to be in their hallway than to put them on here because they've always lived on my windowsill kind of hidden away, but I want them to take pride of place here my little angel's feathers and in here we've got a poorly little boy do you want to tell everybody you've been a bit poorly today haven't you so bumper has basically got the um doggy version of ibs he's had it ever since he was a puppy and he just has like a flare up every like month or so so yes yeah, um boiled chicken and rice for this little puppy tonight and some of his probiotics and he should be absolutely fine in the morning shouldn't you my angel you actually look like a baby polar bear you are so bloody cute you making a butty yeah you want one no, babe, I'm good, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Tell them you've not stopped eating all day. I was saying James is a, what did I say, a chain eater. Like a chain smoker, but a chain eater. Aren't you? If I could get in the bloody bread, I would Do you want me to open it for you? Okay, say bye to the vlog. Bye. 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 Bye.
Bye to the vlog. So we've got a nice film day planned. Cuddles and snacks on the sofa. Heated blanket. Hot water bottles. Heating on. Nice and cosy. So yeah, I'm going to end the vlog here. Um, I will, of course, pop a link to my Instagram down below. So please do come and follow me on there in the meantime. But otherwise, I will see you all in Wednesday's video. Bye. Say bye, baby. Oh, he's so, so sad.